Hello there. Right, a uh, quick video. So, um, let me have a look at modeling. So, I do most of my modeling in Studio Max. Um, even though I've got Modo, and Modo is regarded as a very good modeler, uh, I'm obviously coming to terms with um, using Modo. I'm not fully, not even, uh, not even ten percent into learning Modo. Um, the reason I don't do much of my modeling is because the way I model stuff, or the way I've sort of learned how to model stuff, is a li little bit different. So, um, Modo's modeling is sort of based around the same idea as Lightwave, where you you do a function or you use a tool and you drop the tool and you move on and do a bit more modeling and whatever whereas um, my sort of modeling is uh, not all the time but a lot of the time is open to go backwards and forwards on the modeling process um, and I model with modifiers so let me just show you mo modeling with a modifier as an example of what um, what I've done so this is a, just a, a pretty simple ish model this is a ice cream cone so we'll look at the cone in a minute but this, we're looking at the ice cream at the moment here. So if I alt, so that is just basically, if you go to my modifier, so if I go and select this object here, you can see my modifier stack. So it was a cylinder, which was set to four sides. Um, and then I did an edit poly that basically did a couple of things. I added some loops around it to give it some, um, uh, give it some guys who are going to go and subdivide it. And I also, um, went around the bottom part of it just, ma just matched it up with the top so it was round at the bottom but not round at the top um, and then I added actually we did that I did this freeform deformation lattice later so I came back to this but we'll put it in anyway so my FFD here um, is just guiding the base of this ice cream into the top of the cone um, and then I did a turbo smooth that smoothed it all so I've got uh, one level of subdivision. I think it's one level. Two levels, actually. Two levels of subdivision. You know what? That could be one. Uh, one level of subdivision. And then I added a taper. So let's turn the taper on. So that tapered the top out, like so. And it's got a bit of a, a curve to the taper. And then I added a twist. Yeah. And then I added another smooth on top of that. If I take that off, you can sort of... You get the idea of the ice cream. So, yeah, and th the cool thing is with, you know, things like the twist, I can change them later. I can go into the twist and decide that I want it a little bit less or a little bit more or I could animate it. So, and then, of course, I can have a bend on top. So, you know, I can animate the bend of that happening as well. That's all wobbly and whatever. So, if you, you know, if you're going to animate them, them carrying it um along you can have it wobble quite easily either animate it yourself or you could put flex on it or something like that so this is why i use max for modeling at the moment it's because of all these things interestingly in modo you've got motion modifiers um now wouldn't it be cool in the future if you could have similar idea of a motion modifier but for modeling you could have a taper and you could have a twist and things like that um, and the thing I do like is having edit poly modifiers so I can do some editing um, have several of these and decide you know try something out if it doesn't work out just switch it back off again just as an idea that's that's really useful um, so yeah so that's the ice cream the other thing that I've got here if I go and select really there we go go and select this um, go down to the bottom here so this is a lathe of an object uh, and I've got turbo smooth on it and I've got the lathe itself. So let's look at the lathe. Let's hopefully go that way around. So what we've got here is I've got my line object here, then I've got a live lathe happening afterwards. Click up to the next bit to show it. So I can go and edit any part of this. So for instance I could go into the lathe, go into the line actually, go I can show up my stack as well here so I can see what we're looking at. I can even turn turbo smooth on. Okay, and I can go into points here and I can go and add a point for instance uh, with the refine button if we can find it there we go so I can add a, a point in there for instance and then if I wanted to I could grab that point and move it out or move it in however you want it to be um, and that's a live edit yeah I can just delete the point it doesn't really mind 
So, yeah, this is why I end up modelling lots of things in Max rather than in uh, Lightwave, which I have, or Modo. It's just it's just the way I've learned how to do lots of modelling, and it's modifier-based. Um, and it's just really, you know, it gives me lots of options to experiment, basically, and to muck up and fix it without rebuilding it. Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's a little bit of a quick video on why I still persist in modeling in Max, even though my preferred renderer is now Modo, uh, my preferred materials are now Modo materials. Um, but the modeling side of it is just uh, not everything's great, but you know, s certain things like this. I'd always do laves inside Max, and these sort of things just lend themselves for experimentation um, with a modifier way of, um, of modeling. So yeah, that is that. So that was exciting, wasn't it? It's was another waste of time, but <laughs> there you go. Uh, right, I'm going to have a cup of tea. So yeah, there you go. That's why I model things in Studio Max currently. Maybe I'll change. Maybe I need to learn Modo a bit more. But I love the idea of not dropping at all and coming back to it like days later and making an edit in between the, that modeling session. You know, that's that's really... That's awesome in my book um, and something I don't really want to give up at the minute. But other than that, life's cool. Right, see you later. Cheers, bye.